Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I am officially today in Istanbul in Turkey. Four days is not enough to do everything. But I'm going to Kona. This is the traditional Turkish dessert, which is made with fillet dough, pistachio, and honey. So we're gonna go for it. Yes, woo! <laughs> and they're from Hong Kong and they're... Okay. <laughs> and I've ended up in this gorgeous little place called Shema and I'm here drinking my Turkish coffee now. I know, it yeah, it is. It opens up your senses, yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> this happens to me every time. <laughs> Guys, talk about an entranceway to a palace. I mean, you can't get much better than that. <laughs> so I know Merhaba, so it's hello, and um, Teshikar Ederim. <laughs> Where are you from? Ireland. Irish. Ireland, yeah. Nice. Hello. Hello. <laughs> no, thank you, <laughs> if I ate the sweets in every store, I swear to God, I'd be literally rolling out of Turkey before long. So guys, over the next three and a half days, I'm going to be bringing you around all of the different places in Istanbul, which I am so, so excited about. Um, this has been a city and a country that I've wanted to go to for the longest time. And I'm really excited to just bring you guys along with me now as well. So what's really cool about Istanbul is that it is the largest city in Turkey, first off, 17 million people but it's actually on a continental divide between Europe and Asia. So this city basically is like this incredible like mashup of like different religions and different cultures and lots and lots of history, which I'm really excited to like explore and learn a lot more about. And guys, this is my hotel room. I'm actually staying in the Ottoman miniature hotel. Um, like it's very cute. Literally what it says, miniature hotel, small. Um, and this is the toilet in here. All my stuff, just ignore that. Um, I'm gonna turn this around here. This 
is the shower. And yeah, that is it. Um, has the TV and everything. Probably won't be watching too much TV. But um, really cute little room. I love this. The old fashioned phone. Love details like that. So I'm staying in the Sultanahmet uh, district, which is like the old historical area of Istanbul. Um, and the other area, which is another really popular area that a lot of tourists stay in as well, is called Biyoglu. I think I'm pronouncing that right. I'm probably butchering it, but that's the more modern side of Istanbul. But I decided to stay in this area because it was recommended uh, to me to the area because this is where like the Hagia Sophia is, the Blue Mosque, um, Tokapi Palace. Okay, Turkish. Turkish. Turkish tea. Yeah. Uh, chai, chai, normal chai. Nor Turk chai. Is this your first time in Istanbul or you've been before? No, first time. Yeah. First time. Yeah. Istanbul. It's a video. <laughs> it's a video. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Guys, I'm just after walking down like five minutes from my hotel to Sulamet, Sultanahmet Square, and we have the Hagia Sophia there behind me. And then on the other side of the square is the mosque. It's so busy. Oh my god, I actually can't believe how crowded it is. Um, so I'm actually going to wait until I go into both of these until tomorrow. So yeah, I'm going to go down there like super early in the morning. I think the Hagia Sophia opens at 8.30. So I'm literally going to be the first person in the line. So I'm here in the Balash neighborhood now. This is like one of the oldest neighborhoods in Istanbul and it's supposed to be like this really cool creative art hub and I'm on search now for these beautiful colorful houses um, and it's all done in like Ottoman style as well and some of them are like over like 200 years old so guys pro tip if you're coming to Balat or actually any of the areas really in Istanbul is to wear runners. It's not the best idea to be wearing sandals because there's so many hills and there's just a lot of walking involved. Um, so I'll definitely be wearing my runners tomorrow. Guys, imagine taking on those stairs every day like, oh my god, you would literally have legs of steel.
I literally just can't get over this place. Like, the main street of Ballat is quite busy with restaurants, but like all of these back streets are super, super quiet and laid back. Oh, literally in all of this place. So cool and so earthy. Like, I'm wondering, how do they get the clothes? All the way in the middle. Can somebody tell me? How do they hang the clothes? So guys, this is one of the most famous streets here. I mean, the name of the street. Oh God. This is the name of the street. Divinly or Divinly. Yeah, and it's like one of the most famous streets here in Ballat. These two boys helped me actually find the place because it wasn't on Google Maps. But um, it's beautiful. There's loads of colourful houses on the side as well. And the architecture of them is beautiful. Everybody's here just taking photos. Guys, <laughs> walking these streets for hours and I am absolutely starving now so I'm going to go down to the main street um, in Ballat and see what kind of food and kind of restaurants they have to offer there. Um, I have heard of a place called Forno before where you can actually see pizza being made in front of you so I might check out that place. They make the pizzas right in front of you, so I can't wait to have a big, massive and a pizza. Oh, it's so So guys, this place is literally just right of Forno with the colourful stairs, it's like a big Instagram hub. <laughs> these umbrellas we actually have something really like this in Dubai oh my god this hill is steep and there's a car trying to reverse up it you have to see this <sighs> Oh my god. I definitely wouldn't be able to do that anyway.
serious Instagram operations happening here. I tried. I tried. So guys, this is the street that I have been looking for all day. Literally spent hours all today looking for it and I finally found it. Kermit Street. Um, it's not on Google Maps so I've literally been just going around asking everybody I could on the streets and it's kind of difficult because not a lot of people actually speak English here um, but I ended up meeting um, some Turkish girls who actually are from Germany and um, they brought me here so they helped me out so that was really really nice um, but it's beautiful like this is like the iconic Instagram spot then at the back here which we saw earlier is the red school the Greek Orthodox school um, so I was actually really close to it all along I just I had no idea. Yeah. Woo. Say hi for YouTube. Hi. hi. <laughs> so this here seems to be just another side of the red school. Landmark in Ballad, which is the St. Stephen's Orthodox Church, and it's also called the Iron Church because it's made out of like elements of cast iron. Okay, so its opening hours are until five o'clock. So I actually may come back to this area tomorrow because it's so beautiful and I'd actually love to go in. Definitely not gonna attempt it with the guard dog there right in front of the gate. <laughs> Um, but oh, I'm absolutely in love with this area, Ballot. Um, definitely think I'm gonna come back. So guys, I'm back in my hotel room. I am absolutely shattered after like so much walking today, literally walking up and down those hills would kill you. So if you're going to Istanbul in general, wear runners if you're going to be exploring the city, like don't be going around in sandals especially if you plan on doing a lot of walking and going from like landmark to landmark like i was only in balat today but there are so many hills there and yeah <laughs> you would literally just be worn out but i had such a great day down there i'm obsessed with the area it's so cool it's so quirky um such like it has such a cool like laid back um vibe to the place all the coffee shops there were really like cool and artsy like there was lots of boutique stores yeah and everybody down there was like dressed really cool as well like a really good place for like people watching um but yeah everybody was so lovely so so lovely like every coffee shop that i went into and every restaurant um I literally like started up conversation with everybody that was working there and even though some of them like didn't have perfect english um in the places that I actually went into, they like really tried their best. They were like asking me what my name was, where I was from. Um, just yeah, they were just so lovely. Like in Forno as well, like they gave me a free tea and free biscuits and oh, like yeah, just had such a great day. And I actually met um an older couple as well in Forno who were really nice as well. Um a Turkish couple who have been living in Chicago since like 1998 and I had a great conversation with them for about half an hour so that was really nice as well um but yeah everybody was just so lovely down there I am honestly obsessed with the place I think I'm going to go back there again like the last day um because I feel like I'm just not finished with it I think I just have to go back one more time. But tomorrow is going to be a big day. I am going to be doing all the big historical like landmarks tomorrow. So uh, be sure to watch that video tomorrow. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, I cannot speak highly enough about Istanbul. Like first impressions are just 
like incredible everybody has been so friendly um it's such a vibrant city um yeah and it's just such an interesting mix of like cultures like between like east meets west um it's so so cool and it's really not like anywhere else i've been before and i really understand now why people are like you're going to love this temple and I really do. I literally messaged my family there and I was like, I'm obsessed with the place already. Um, so yeah, guys, if you're thinking about coming to Istanbul, do it. Book that trip. Um, but anyway, guys, I'm literally going to go to sleep now. I'm dead to the world. I swear to God, like, I mean... I look ghostly at the moment so I'm gonna call it a night and I will see you guys in my very next video and I really hope you enjoyed this one so if you did be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next video